Chapter Seven, MS Excel, Working with Worksheet. You know that Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program. It is used for storing data in the form of rows and columns, and perform mathematical calculations. Let's learn about some important cell editing commands. Copying and moving cell contents. You know that copying refers to duplicating the data, text, numbers, and formulae in the context of MS Excel, while moving refers to move the data from its current location to another location. Copying or moving the data. Steps to copy or move the data are: select the cells that you want to copy. For example, A5 is to E6. On Home tab in Clipboard group, click on Copy to Copy or Cut to Move option. The moving dashed line appears around the selected cells. Move the pointer to the cell where you want to paste the data. For example, A15. On Home tab in Clipboard group, click on Paste button. Copying the data in adjoining cells using mouse. Steps to copy the data using mouse pointer are: select the cells that you want to copy, place the cursor on the bottom right corner of the selection, the cursor changes to a solid plus sign, click and drag the mouse over the cells where you want to copy the data, release the mouse button, the data is copied into other cells. Moving the data using mouse. Steps to move the data using mouse pointer are: select the cells that you want to move, place the cursor on the edge of the selection selected cells. The cursor changes to a move pointer symbol. Click and drag the mouse pointer to the new location. Release the mouse button. The data is moved to the new location. Using autofill feature, sometimes you need to enter a series of data, numbers, days, dates, etc. Then, instead of typing every entry manually, autofill option can be used. Autofill feature is used to fill a predefined series of data in adjacent cells quickly. Some of the frequently used popular series are. Number series, weekdays and dates series, month series. The steps to create a number series using autofill feature are: type first two values numbers from which you want to start the list. For example, type one and two in A three and A four cells. Select both the cells and position the mouse pointer at lower right corner of the selection. The mouse pointer changes to plus sign autofill handle. Click and drag the autofill handle to the cell till where you want to fill the list. For example, fill up to cell A12. Release the mouse button. The required series of data gets displayed. Creating custom lists. You can add a list with autofill feature, which is frequently used by you. Instead of typing the list each time, you can add the list using Edit Custom Lists option and use it with autofill feature. Steps to add a list with autofill feature are: click on File tab, go to Options, the Excel Options dialog box appears. Click on Advanced option in the left pane. The related options are displayed in the right pane. In the right pane, scroll down the page to General section and click on Edit Custom Lists button. The Custom Lists dialog box appears. In the List Entries box, type the new list. Click on Add button. The entered list appears in the Custom Lists box. Click on OK button.
undo and redo commands. Undo command reverses the last action, while redo command reverses the undo command. These are used in same manner as you do in MS Word. Undo and redo buttons are located on the quick access toolbar. Inserting cell, row, column. Blank cell, row, column can be inserted in a worksheet. Steps to insert a blank cell, row, column are Select the cell to the left above of which you want to insert a new cell. Or select the row column above left of which you want to insert a new row or column. Click on row column header to select it. For example, click on cell F3. On home tab in cells group, click on insert button. A drop down menu appears. Click on Insert Cells option to insert a new cell. Click on Insert Sheet Columns option to insert a new column. Click on Insert Sheet Rows option to insert a new row. Clicking on Insert Cells option will display the Insert dialog box with the following options. Shift cells right, shifts existing cells to the right, to make a room for the blank cell that you want to insert. Shift cells down instructs Excel to shift existing cells down. This is the default option. Entire row inserts complete row in the cell range above the selected cells row. Entire column inserts complete column in the cell range to the left of the selected cells column. Select the required option and click on OK button. Deleting cell, row or column Steps to delete a cell, row or column are Select the cell, row, column that you want to delete. Click on row, column header to select it. For example, click on cell C8. On Home tab in Cells group, Click on Delete button. A drop-down menu appears. Click on Delete Cells option to delete the cell. Click on Delete Sheet Columns option to delete the column. Click on Delete Sheet Rows option to delete the row. Clicking on Delete Cells option will display Delete dialog box with the following options. Shift cells left overrides the content by shifting the data from the left cell to the selected cell. Shift cells up overrides the content by shifting the data from the cell below to the selected cell. Entire row overrides the content by shifting the data from the cell below. It appears that the entire row is deleted. Entire column overrides the content by shifting the data from the column on the right side of the selected cell. It appears that the entire column is deleted. Select the required option and click on OK button.